coming out this week. Born in China. Now this is, this? A, this is a this is a nature documentary. Disney's doing something interesting now. They have another uh, one of I their. I thought this brands. was like another Matt Damon yeah, yeah. Playing, uh, <laughs> playing an or Asian is, warlord. Well, yeah, he's fighting pandas. <laughs> so. <laughs> Yeah, because yeah. there's far too many pandas <laughs> yeah. on the planet. So um, Disney Nature is is basically one of their brands that they put all these uh, nature documentaries out through, and this is one of them, and it, it looks good. It looks like a um, a really good documentary. It's basically, uh, uh, it, it, the on IMDb, it says, Venturing into the wilds of China, born in China, captures intimate moments with a panda bear and her growing cub, a young golden monkey who feels displaced by his baby sister, and a mother snow leopard struggling to survive. Yes. This is directed by Juan Lu. That sounds like an overly dramatic description, but yeah, it sounds like a really good nature documentary. <laughs> well, I really put my announcer voice on yeah. when I did it because I really, I really wanted to ramp it up a little bit. That was bit. very good. Thank you. He's also done Chronicles of the Ghostly Tribe, The Last Supper, and, and Fast and Furious 4. <laughs> so. <laughs> He's done a bunch of movies that we haven't heard of in China that probably right. you know a billion people saw. Right, and uh, he doesn't care what people think of him in America. And the, <laughs> and the next movie he. is uh, mm-hmm. Free Fire. This movie, I saw the trailer and I'm thinking, well, this is um, for people who are just tired of waiting for the next Quentin Tarantino movie to come out. Uh, it's like it's really it's it's like a big like... a big gunfight in a period piece. Quippy dialogue. Uh, yeah, I'm in. I'm in. And uh, and a bunch <laughs> of guns. I. I don't have your guys. Uh, I'm in this with this. It looks to me like um, I'm halfway. I'm like, well, it could be good, but I, also I think I've already seen it done better with. That's what I feel people. like to me. It's it's. I feel. But like, it could be good. It could be a bad trailer. Mm, yeah, maybe we'll he see. He did High Rise. He did the Doctor Who film. The same director. Uh, yeah. High Rise was a missed opportunity. Yeah, sightseers. Are you, are you still excited? Yeah. As I read this list, mm, not as much. <laughs> yeah, I'm down about ten percent since that the list. The trailer, I just couldn't do it, and I'm sorry, Army yeah. Hammer. I, I did. Okay, another ten percent. Yep. So, <laughs> sorry. Uh, next movie is Unforgettable. Again, now February used to be the dumping ground for we weren't sure where to put these movies that are, are look like oh, uh, uh, terrible. This is a uh, a Catherine Heigl hands that rocks the cradle feel oh, kind of yeah. to it, like the the jilted ex wife who's like gonna get her family back at any cost yeah the trailer for this i was like okay i i don't know i guess march and april are so weird now they they become weird because it's like it's every like one weekend is a giant blockbuster and then it's a dumping ground film yeah it's like a summer february mashup now (laughs) (laughs) yeah it is we just had fast eight and then this nonsense yeah i don't know i don't so I, 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 I think I think all mar- I think all studio marketing departments are in turmoil right now. Yeah. I go, we don't we don't know what to do. I don't know. That's like, true. Do I go yeah. see Colossal this weekend? <laughs> yeah. Or do I? Or do I just you know put stock in watch, Netflix? Yeah. Or, or watch. Money. <laughs> they don't know what to do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so so that's it. Comedy Filter Podcast.